Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another review. This time not for Choco Kim, but I'm taking everybody uh, a step to the memory lane to do a review on uh, Takara's King X Kaiser and Dragon Kaiser. Uh, I recently acquired these two toys. I mean, a couple of months ago I acquired these two toys from Japan. Uh, I won it cheap from Yahoo Auctions at like uh, 1,400 yen. Yeah, so I got them. Uh, everything's complete. Uh, everything's good, just no boxes, no instructions, but everything's complete. Um, and 1,400 yen after shipping within Japan, commission to my third party, shipping to Singapore, cost me about uh, less than 100 Singapore dollars, that's about 75 US or less. So this is a really great deal for me and uh, without further ado, let me just go to the review. That's the review. Uh, King X Kaiser first and uh, I'll move Dragon Kaiser out of the way for the time being. Ooh. <coughs> so, oh, uh, in case my fans do not know, I'm actually a big fan of Brave Robots and Brave Toys. In fact, I have uh, the vintage robots of uh, the main characters, the lead characters, and of uh, most of the Brave series characters. Um, so, I'll, and we have time, I'll definitely do a review on the, those in my collection, and all of them comes with boxes and everything. Uh, just that, you know, King S. Kaiser was uh, one that I didn't get in the past, and I'm really glad to win it and uh, add it to my collection. Almost there, complete with my vintage Brave collection. So, uh, without further ado, let's go to the uh, review. So, here we have uh, King X Kaiser with his trailer. So, this is Kaiser. Uh, the thing I'm very happy about this is, uh, despite being a very old toy, it's, it's, it's the white is very very clean. It's um, hardly discolored, hardly yellow, so it's really really great. Stickers are good. Uh, some of them are peeling off, but nothing that I can't fix with a little bit of uh, glue. So here we have Kaiser. So transformation wise, is very intuitive. Just need to split the hands open, move it upwards. Uh, we'll flip the legs down, flip the feet out open the legs, some articulation here and uh, move the hands down, move the hands down flip this to the back and we are done Kaiser articulation, well, you know, you can move the hands this much this much, double jointed elbows, rare for a vintage toy uh, in terms of fun wise, you press this the yellow lever here and you got the lion head, cool, cool right this is really very really cool feature a little bit of fun, um, yeah. So, what's nice, the gold chrome is uh, in perfect condition. No signs of chipping or whatever. Uh, yeah, this is really really cool. Very nice for a uh, vintage toy. And for the trailer, the what you want to do is move this clip down, uh, move this out, and move this out. And I believe that when uh, Kaiser sum summons his trailer, he comes from the sky like this, in the trailer mode. Yeah, so transforming him to uh, King as Kaiser is easy. What I'm gonna do right now, <coughs> flip this legs down, okay, flip this whole portion back, alright. Oh, I can make the camera, I gotta shift it. Move this out, move the hands down. We got to uh, lift the cat out, yep. We gotta rotate the arms out, right? Move this part down, move this down, open up the lever, open this as well. I'm um, gonna put Kaiser in there, make sure when you put in there, you close the lid. And I uh, can't really remember how I do this. I think it's probably this way, if I didn't recall wrongly. Anyway, this transformation is very intuitive. You can't really get wrong with it. Fixing it in. Okay, you can't close, so it means you probably have to go all the way in here. Okay, close perfectly, close perfectly. I'm gonna tap this down, lock it in place. Yep, lock in place, and you press this lever, pop up the light in here. One more time, you press this lever, pop up the light in here. And here you have King X Kaiser! Yep. Whereas these brave toys of the past are really really big and I uh, can't really fit into my camera and uh, what's really interesting about this you review both sides, is it one side or both sides? let me see, I think it's only one side yep, <coughs> it has a sword and the sword can be extended so this is cool 
Okay, let me just fit the sword in. Can't seem to fit into this uh, hand. Oh yeah, now I can. Cool. Really mini mini sword. But you know, this is very typical of a vintage toy. And uh, one more thing I want to say, the gold chrome is really really well maintained. Yep. Very cute sword. Small but cute. It's really interesting, you know, if you have this uh, holster here, this, yeah, we we'll hold the sword and put it in. Yep, <coughs> let me just clean this part a little bit. I haven't been cleaning this part. <coughs> wow, cleaning my toys while doing my review. Killing two birds with one stone. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back, close this. So this is King X Kaiser. Alright. So moving on, Dragon Kaiser, giant shuttle bot, <coughs> shuttle space, space shuttle bot. Cool. Ah, okay. Big toy, rose, really, very interesting. Um, heavy plastic, yeah, very good plastic. And um, since I'm at this point, let me just say, you know, plastic toys of the past. In my opinion, a lot more durable than plastic toys made today. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's due to the material, due to the quality, due to quality checks, or due to you know, uh, less cost cutting. But the plastic quality in the past are really a lot better. I mean, you can drop such a toy on the floor and nothing will crack. You can play with it as much as you can. Nothing cracks, no stress marks or whatever, unless you're really, really very tough with it. Um, this is very different compared to toys these days whereby you know you get stress marks easily and you get the nightmarish CMS toys whereby even um, plastic parts can just crack and, and break when you move them get them fresh out of the box they can just break you can even have the nightmarish uh, Max Factory first first version of the Genesis Gal Geiger made of die cast metal and yet will break into pieces <coughs> we don't have such problems with these toys in the past don't we I mean this that is a very good reason why we we love vintage, not just because of our childhood, but because of the quality. You know, you can play them and they don't break. Anyway, back to the review itself. So, Dragon Kaiser, transforming him is, is straightforward. Move this two piece down, move the wings back. Oops, yep. Move this piece. Oops, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. <coughs> move this up. Turn this cans down. Okay, flip the head. Whoops, I flipped. Oh, yes, got to flip two heads. Flip this to the back, and uh, almost done. But uh, to complete the transformation, actually, <coughs> you do have to put uh, X Kaiser in. But just to show you guys, you take your hands out, you lift the main body up. Okay, give me a minute. Let me just release X Kaiser <coughs> from King X Kaiser. So over here, transformation is a little bit different, you need to close the legs, um, hands wise you need to put it as such let me think, oh yeah you need to put it this way I think. <coughs> I think, let me just <coughs> recall, take a quick recall. <coughs> Just looking at the picture that I found online of how to actually move this, so it is supposed to be like this. Okay, and then what we'll do, lift up this part. Oh. Gotta do it, gotta slot him inside. in all right I'm gonna close the main hatch and over here we're going to move the hatch and move the hands a little bit yep and you close the hatch over here as well and there you're done oops not yet put this part and you're done Dragon Kaiser. Let me just move him to the back. So you get a full camera view. Dragon Kaiser. This is big. This is not a big toy. 
Yep, articulation, not much. We just move this, you know, big chunk, but anyway. And now, I'm gonna do a fusion. But before then, let me just get uh, our dear friend Pfizer out. Oh, gotta remove this. Gotta lift this big chunk up again. Oops. Kaiser out. Okay. Okay, he looks, you know, exactly <coughs> the same. You don't really, really need to take him out, but just took him out for the sake of showing the review. And uh, since I'm not going to take him out after this, I'm just going to clean him before I put him back. So, finding his way back into uh, Kaiser. Close, close, can you close tightly? Or do I need to push you a little bit? Push it in a little bit more. No, I think this will do fine. <coughs> okay. Pop it back in. And again, love the head. Oh, fun. So I'm going to combine them. Uh, you can see Dragon Kaiser is taller than King Kaiser. Uh, but um, no matter, I am now, now going to combine them. So to combine them is very simple. First you take out this. Guns. Uh, you take out the head. Basically just wrench it off. Put it back here. Take out the... This part is going to form the shoe. <coughs> take out the whole body into half. Take the lower assembly out. Lower assembly out. Uh, I'm gonna form the legs first. So, I didn't recall wrongly. This is how it goes. Yep. Let's fit it in. Same, just fit this into the groove. It goes in very easily. Flip this, flip these two pieces up. The legs are formed. Uh, moving on to the top of the body, oops, let me just, oh the legs I didn't close it properly for this one, let me just do it again, and see how it fits in, okay, need to do it, mm. okay, cool, got the legs in, ah oh, the hands, let me see how I'm supposed to do the hands. Can't remember how. Uh, should be pretty intuitive. Let me see now. Okay, I know I need to flip this down. Flip this to the back and lock it in place. Same for the other side. I need to flip this down. Flip this over, lock it in place. And over here, how am I gonna fit it in? Let me see now. Hmm. Okay, can't remember how to fit it in. I just need a little bit of um, adjustment. Anyway, let me move this down. How do I fit the arm in? Okay, let me just try to recall. I think I do not need to move the arms at all. I just need to leave it this way. Uh, yes, okay, in fact I don't have to move the arms at all. So what I need to do, basically, is to move this, there's a catch here. Okay, let me just move it to the top, a little bit to the top. There's a catch that will hold, oh yes, and my arm is it's done, okay. Same for the other side. Over here, and then I have my chest piece, this giant chest piece, which goes here to hold the two arm pieces in place. Oh, yeah, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, and uh, these two pieces, where do they go? Let's see now, where do the Cannons go. Oh, yes, the cannons. <coughs> As you can see, the review has taken up to the new height because this toy is freaking big. So, this cannon actually goes inside the wall here. 
and to wrap up the transformation I unveil the giant head I will put this small head to the back okay move it to the back and I shall place the giant head over King Kaiser and we are done Whoa. this is a really really big 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 massive toy okay very big so big that my camera has no space anyway the weapon final weapon of uh, King X is the sword that you put here which he holds with his hand and ta-da this is a very 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 big toy in terms of articulation you can move his hand front and back slightly Yep. The innovative thing about this toy is that the hand doesn't remove the whole thing, but it's just like an additional joint for you to move the hand. So it's really, really cool. You know, it's like this hand doesn't move the whole thing up, but it's just part of it. So it's really, really cool. And I really, really like it. Uh, and likewise, I like the chrome. I like this. How big this piece is. It's really, really, really big. I don't have a box with me to compare right now, but with me on my table, I conveniently had a uh, Voyager class hunt for the Decepticon uh, Optimus Prime. We just put it side by side. Uh, you see how big, great X Kaiser is compared to a uh, box Voyager hunt for the Decepticon Optimus Prime. So this is how big it is. Sideways, yes, truly, truly big. Anyway. Yes, it's really really big and it's really a nice piece of vintage Ooh. I have, it's really heavy no, I really like it and I'm so happy to have found it You know, this is really really a nice piece of history and uh, Like I said, old toys, being old toys, they are really big and really fun And like, this is really massive Looking is really really massive, it's really cool Yes, I mean these are the toys that are evergreen, you know There are only a few toys made today that can match to toys of the past, in my opinion, I mean, these days you don't get toys this big. I mean, you don't get Super Robots, you don't get Chilcokin, you don't get Transformers, uh, you don't get any other brand that makes robots this big. Even those big size DX robots are the most probably up to up to the lion's teeth, not up to here. Because you know, I play a lot of robot toys. I know how tall they basically are, and they're definitely not as big and chunky as this. Definitely not. And Transformers wise, the only Big toy I know that can probably beat this is Fortress Maximus, Brave Max, Grand Max, uh, which is probably up to this height perhaps, but no, no matter. So, you know, this is really a piece of history, and I just want to let my fans know that I'm actually a Brave series robot fan, and uh, when I have time, I'll definitely bring out my Brave collection of uh, the main lead characters and do a review on them uh, just to take a rerun on a trip back in history so here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review I hope you guys have enjoyed it do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time